Hello everyone and welcome to the second day from the series 12 days of Christmas 2022. I am Veronica and today I am presenting you a album made with a collection that it's uh, been withdrawn already. It's called The Sweetest Christmas. It's from two years ago, I think. And I loved it already back then very, very much and I wanted to uh, make an album. I wanted us to have an album with that collection mandatory. But first, I would like to remind you that this series has a giveaway. As you might already know, if you have watched some of my latest videos, I'm a trained positive psychology and mindfulness coach. And I'm providing rewirement sessions for everyone who wants to make a positive habit change in their life. The goal with these uh, rewirement sessions is to help you find the reasons to be grateful for what you have, increase self-compassion, bring flow and fulfillment in your life so that you can feel happier on a steady base. So the giveaway consists of a course with a duration of one week where I give you the keys to the practice of gratitude, the simplest step we can all take towards feeling more happy. And tests have shown that the happiness can be physically measured four weeks later after just one week of practicing gratitude. So in this basic course, which is exactly one week long, I will coach you in the practice of gratitude based on the latest scientific discoveries. And if you win, you will get the gratitude journal in electronic format with detailed instructions on how to follow through and how to journal. Except for this, you get two online meetings with me, one at the beginning to get to know each other a bit and one at the end, of course, to see how you feel. This giveaway is open to any English speaking person in the world and you have to be 18 years old or more to participate. In order to be able to win the giveaway, you have to be subscribed to my channel visibly and to give at least one comment to every video in the series 12 Days of Christmas 2022. This is also a very nice Christmas gift. So if you win this and you intend to offer it to someone else, please let me know. You will find all the details about this giveaway in the description box down below as well, together with a link to this course in my webshop. So I really hope you are excited about the giveaway. I'm offering it with all my heart. I want to thank you so much for watching. And now let's dive into today's project. So in order to make this um, album, I bought three small pads because they only had it in a small format. And so I made this and some other project as well for this series. So this is a gatefold landscape album and it measures six and a quarter by 12 and a quarter and it has a spine of one and a quarter. By the way, um, in a few days from now, there will be a process video for this uh, album. I will show you how I will make one half of it because they are basically mirroring each other. I don't remember exactly how much paper I used in this. Uh, looking at it now, actually, I realized that maybe I should have used more uh, black cardstock or darker cardstock as a base, but I'm uh, very happy to have it. <laughs> the belly band is in a thicker cardstock. This is how it looks on the back. I've used, I didn't have much actually. When, um, when uh, I will show you the video in a few days from now, like I said, for the process video, you will see exactly what materials I had left. But this is how the belly band looks like. Obviously I didn't decorate too much the cover, and this is uh, it, how it looks on the front and on the back I used the tags. The pages are simple, first of all, simple. <laughs> Obviously when you have, when there are like six by six, there cannot be many, you know, add-ons. And uh, so they are mirroring each other, but I will show you first the left side because otherwise it doesn't get into the camera. So this is how the inner left cover looks like. It's a vertical belly band that uh, gets stuck into the lowest uh, the, uh, pocket that I ever made. <laughs> um, so it goes up and inside here you have this uh, booklet, uh, zigzag booklet that it's on top on a um, pocket, which I am... Um, I'm happy to have used my new punch to create that nice notch and which contains an insert again. Ah, what I want to tell you is that it's the album as it is, as I'm so showing it to you now, it's not 100% finished uh, from the decoration point of view. I can still go and I can still add some details, like for example, 
add some um, pattern paper on the back of the belly bands and things like this or uh, make some uh, bigger inserts at some point you will see they are small too small from my point of view first page has a, a, again a belly band that goes into a pocket a more normal pocket this time and um, I used many sentiments because as you might know this collection doesn't have sentiments didn't have uh, chipboard uh, stickers so I used the sentiments from other collections and this Santa on the belly band it comes from the ephemera uh, cutting sheet which which I have been eating <laughs> and as you can see I've used uh, in mirror on the other page as well and they are facing each other because yeah I thought that would be fun and so it's a nice uh, simple belly band that goes up and all you have here is a flap that goes to the right and that is all basically and behind it you have this uh, uh, sheet with a uh, small uh, frames with the tags that basically continues on top of the pocket and that's it so like I said the album is very simple and the structure of the pages uh, is mirroring on the other side as well with small differences because that's what I wanted here we have a horizontal belly band and on to on below there on the bottom you have that teacup uh, that I put there as a tuck spot because usually when you have a horizontal belly band the inserts tend to fall and so this is how it looks it's extremely simple so you have two photo mats for photos um, <clears throat> I didn't punch them in the corner with a new um, corner uh, punching corner that I got uh, because I tried once and it felt a bit like I was forcing it and I didn't have the gas to continue to be honest so it might be so that it's not as strong as the one that I've uh, broken that's broken on me um, so I really don't uh, can't afford now to actually break it it's a bit too soon <laughs> um, okay on this page we have uh, a very nice uh, belly band that goes or closure actually uh, that goes into that tag and that tag goes over a bigger uh, photo mat um, This page is extremely simple. It has a side vertical pocket and with an insert and that is all um, And on the back I haven't put absolutely anything. This is actually my favorite uh, pattern from the whole collection and I have reinforced the spine there and now moving on to the right side um, the inner cover is basically like I said the same structure all as on the left side you have a belly band that goes into a very shallow pocket and you have a zigzag uh, um, photo um, booklet on top of a pocket in which I forgot to insert a mat <laughs> um, but otherwise uh, very very simple and uh, moving on you have page one which again has a belly band that goes into a more normal pocket this time uh, there you have what Christmas market it says um, and a flap that goes to the right again very very simple with the Santa on the uh, belly band on top of the belly band this time we have a vertical belly band uh, on black um, cardstock and I like so much how it look on black cardstock but don't you worry I do have an album that I made with black cardstock with the same collection and black cardstock as a base and uh, it looks really good okay so you had two photo mats there in that one uh, to the right it was very small I think I will uh, change those and make them bigger because I still have like 10 sheets from those three uh, uh, full packages of 6x6 six six that I got here we've got a uh, horizontal belly band again which has a stopper on the bottom for the photo mats that uh, cake that you saw there um, here again we have the same uh, as on the left side uh, this closure that goes directly into the tab into the tag sorry and the tag goes over a photo mat and this is the what you have behind uh, I think I haven't counted how much uh, how many photos we would be able to insert in this but I'm assuming at least 50 here we get again we have a um, simple uh, layout with just a 
side vertical side pocket uh, on the right side and a very small insert which I might um, replace with a bigger one and here again you have a very simple page with no add-on whatsoever and then now I will show you this is how the middle looks like uh, on the middle we have a big pocket uh, again one um, closure vertical closure and that big uh, you saw the big uh, poinsettia is again taken from that um, um, ephemera fussy cutting sheet that I showed you earlier it's been laminated this is how it looks on the back so you saw that red insert and it's a bit of leftover matted with leftovers and one sentiment and then here on top we have uh, uh, two waterfalls, one to the left and one to the right. And there I'm showing you that I have tried to round the corner and didn't look good. And then I tried to fix it with the scissor and this is why it looks like that. But I will uh, apply something there to hide the area better or I will simply uh, replace the whole uh, photo mat altogether. The whole uh, pattern paper. And this is what you have on the back. There I have to put something as well because I didn't realize and I applied it after I applied the paste, um, the pattern paper. And uh, yeah, that's uh, how my album, our album looks like. It's called again, The Sweetest Christmas. And um, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I really hope you like it too. And um, I hope you will um, uh, stick... Um, to the series and to see how uh, it was made um, I think it's in like in three or four days from now on the process video for this one will come and uh, meanwhile don't forget about the um, giveaway for this series and uh, I really hope uh, you like what you have seen so far I will stick um, the conditions for the giveaway and every previous project of the series in the description box down below and um, I want to thank you so much for uh, watching and don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see. Thank you and see you after tomorrow. Bye bye.